Hello, today I'm going to talk about the multi-armed bandit problem. And I'm going to talk about this problem because in next videos, in the following videos that I'm going to make, uh, we are going to use reinforcement learning algorithms to solve it. So in, in this video I'm only going to explain the, the problem and then in, next, in the next video I'm going to explain the upper confidence bound algorithm and in another video I will explain the Thompson sampling algorithm which are two algorithms uh, that are reinforcement learning algorithms. Good, so let's talk about the problem then. Okay, so this name comes from this type of machine. So if we had just one machine instead of five it would be called, I, I don't know, maybe one armed bandit problem or single armed bandit problem, you know, not multi. But in this case, we're talking about multi armed bandit problem, therefore, we have multiple machines. And armed, it's because of this arm that these mach machines used to have, though now they don't have that anymore, apparently. They have push buttons instead of these levers. And bandit because well you have this usually in casinos and you you lose money in casinos and apparently those people introduced a bug into into the machine and the machine uh, that happened a long time ago I, I suppose and the machine started to winning to to make you lose even more money and they the nickname of the machine maybe they they start to talk about bandit bandit. So these are the bandit machines that we have here. So the moot the moot armed bandit problem we have uh, this is the orange of the name. Okay. So what is the problem about? So the problem is that you have these machines and you want to spend the least amount of money in order to discover which machine is the best machine. So, these machines, they do not have the same distributions behind them. They all have different distributions. So, some of these machines you are going to win more money, and some of these machines you are going to... Sorry. Some of these machines you are going to lose less money, and some of these machines you are going to lose more money. Let's suppose that these machines are capable of actually giving you money. So, the problem is to find the best machine using the least amount of time or least amount of experimentation. So this is a problem of exploration and exploitation, they call it, because you are going to explore the machines, but at the same time you are going to try to exploit the best machine while you explore it. Okay? So while, while you are exploring all your machines, you are going to focus on exploiting the best machine. The problem also the the problem assumes that you have a finite 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 uh, set of machines and you have a best distribution in one of these machines. So these machines do not have the same distribution. So, for example, in this one you can lose 40% of the time and can win 60% of the time. In this one you can lose 20% of the time and win 80% of the time. Something like that. They don't have the same distribution uh, under the hood. Okay. So, in a nutshell, we want to get the best return. And exploring, we are going to explore the least amount of uh, of of I don't know, tries. We want to try the least amount of times and we are going to then ex exploit the best machine. So, find the best distribution and exploit it, but spend the least amount of time exploring all, all of them. Okay. Good, so these are the machines and these are the distributions that we have for these machines. So here we can clearly see that this machine is the best machine because the mean mode and medium is higher here compared to the others. Therefore we have to find a way to get to know that this machine is the best machine. And we have we are going to talk about two algori algorithms to discover that. The first one is the upper bound 
uh, per UCB, isn't it? I forgot the name of the algorithm. Upper confidence bound. And the next one is Thompson sampling, right? So upper confidence bound and Thompson sampling. So we are going to use those algorithms to find this a solution for this problem. So, by the way, if you do not spend too much, too much time exploring machines, you may end up exploiting the wrong machine or not the best machine. And that's a problem. So you, you, have, um, you have to have a minimum amount of exploration to find your best machine that you can best exploit it. Okay? So that, ha that will give you the most return. Because if you try different machines, and and just uh, just a few times you may start to think that maybe this one is the best machine but you only think that because like you you may get lucky or unlucky and you think that this one is the best but that's because you didn't explore enough enough uh, if you had explored enough you would know that this is the best machine to exploit Something else that that you could do is to use instead of a reinforcement learning algorithm, you can could use simply A/B testing. But the problem with A/B testing is that you are only exploring your machines, so you are you are randomly um, trying different machines, and when you have let's say uh, five hundred. Uh, samples from each machine then you can know which machine is the best machine but then you would you would have spent in this case we have five machines you would have spent 250 tries randomly and by using these algorithms that we are going to talk about you end up not losing so much money randomly because you focus more on the machines that are the, mo the best machines but at the same time, you don't completely st stop exploring because you you have to consider that e the machine that you are, you are expo exploiting the most is not the best machine. So you have to keep exploring a little bit. So by using this algorithm, it's better than, than using A-B testing because you'll be losing less money. So if this were ads instead of machines, you would find the the best ads, or in this case, the best machines, in the least amount of time, and you could um, already start exploiting them. Okay, so this is better than A/B testing, uh, especially because it involves money or a number of tries. In this case, you are giving coins to the machines so that you can try them. But uh, but uh, yeah. And if you if you get to to know the best distribution the least amount of time possible, that's better, and that's what the algorithm that we're going to talk about does, and that's what A B testing does not do. A B testing A B testing will would test them randomly. Good. So we are not going to use machines as I've just talked uh, as as I've just mentioned. We are going to use actually. Um, advertisements or uh, ads, yeah. So these are the ads. Let's so let's suppose that we have these ads, and there will be a user that's going to enter a website, and they will see one of these ads, and we are going to f like first we are going to assign these ads randomly. But then when we start discovering that one of these ads is better than the other, so the users clicks, uh, click more on one of these ads than the other, we are going to start exploiting that as early as possible. But we, again, we are going to keep exploring the other options so that we get the best ad, okay? And we do not lose so much money as we would lose doing the A-B testing. Good, so th this is going to be our example during the coding time. So I'm going to code it both in Python and in R. It's not going to be five advertisements, it's actually going to be 10 advertisements. And the data set is a little bit 
more confusing than what I talked here, but it's going to be simple. And in the, at this time, we do not have a library to do that, so we have to implement it by hand, but it's not, it's not that complicated at all. And I'm going to talk more about the algorithms in the next video. So that's it for the multi-armed bandit problem. In a nutshell, you have the origin was these kinds of machines, and in a nutshell, you have to to find the best distribution to exploit it, and but spending the least amount of time exploring all of them. So you have you have to spend the least least amount of time exploring them, and then you can exploit the best distribution once you find it. And you have different distributions. You have a, a finite set of distributions, and you do have a, a the best distribution. That's are the assumptions for the, this problem. Yeah, and we are going to talk about ads when we code it. So that's it. Bye bye.